Hey, welcome back to another Aussie Cowie Man unboxing. Uh, today we've got the GTR 1400 uh, or the ZG 1400 in the US. It's the Concourse, the 1400 Concourse. Now this is the labelling on the side of the box. It's got the VIN number and the engine number on there. Have a look at there. There's the stamp from our distributors saying, yep, there we go, come and get her. Now you have a look at the measurements there, 23 by 1000 or inches and so on. Don't have a uh, yeah, motorcycle act. That's how it's uh, straight from the factory. They box them up like this and chuck them on a ship and send them over. Hey, here we go. Here's a big one. This is the uh, ZG 1400, or in Australia it's called the GTR 1400. And in the US it's the Concourse 1400. And in the Philippines it's Hawaii. Hang on, I think. This is how they come out. Big beast. You know, pack them in well. So there we go. This is ZG. I'm going to get Shane to do his little zim zim and take all the bolts and stuff out. And I'll show you how this one comes in. It's a bit more, a bit more, um, more intensive than the Ninja 650. But I watch it. I'll fast forward it for you anyway. So you see all the boxes are all packed in, um, even little things like the elastic band to hold the hold that foot peg up so it doesn't go in, into the box. Uh, it's pretty sweet. That's why he left it in there. That's got the bags on it. Bags are in there, all covered up. So these don't have the bit through the middle they've got like this hard styrofoam un underneath and the piece on the top that runs onto that top part so that sort of holds it all up you want to hammer this one to shine you good Stay out of his way here, he'll bloody throw shit at you. Fourteen hundred GTR. Well, so there's a saddle bag in that box. Is that right? Yeah. Yep.
the saddle bag in there for the screen and stuff I would presume oh yeah oh that's the inner bearing panel oh that's cool battery acid Screen. Throw a piece in there. Look, that was in there as well. Him left that GDR 1400 like it was a bloody Ninja 400. We just, we'll just do it off the cuff here, mate. You can come out and say, fuck yeah, we're allowed to put it in. We're good. <laughs> mm. Ain't too many of these getting built, do you? No. This is actually the last of them. Last of them? The last GDR 1400s. They don't make them anymore. You're Not in Australia. We don't get them into Australia anymore. So in the US or we bought US. the last six, I think, from Kawasaki Ooh. Australia. So there's going to be six lucky owners. Very lucky owners. Very lucky owners. I'd love to take one of these to a track day. I've seen the police ride them like they're a track day, mate. Let me tell you. <laughs> well, they're fast. Yeah. Fast. I was on one of these going out to Buddy Toowoomba a few years back. And definitely it was closed course conditions, like of course, of course. Sa safety yeah. reasons. Yes, safety like I'm hooking up to a corner, I was going probably too fast, but well, I was. Yeah. And the t corner just went yeah. tighten up and just I'm like, uh oh! And I just jumped off the side and just hung on. And this thing was like it was on rails, mate. Just hooked through and I come out of the corner and I went a split second of, wow, I made it. 
<laughs> and then I just gassed it on again and go, that is awesome. Do it again, do it again. Oh, it was, it was unreal, eh? I, I thought, I'm dead for sure. I love these things. Yeah. Mate, we can do this for about 22 grand right away. 22,000 Australian dollars. Which is probably about eight grand US. <laughs> yeah, this wouldn't be eight grand, would it be about 14 US, you reckon? Something like that. So, but yeah, you got the, um, all the levered buddy swing arms. What do you reckon about the pipe? Put some comments down below. I'm sure there'll be a lot of people tell me how they love this <laughs> or, or loathe it. Yeah, a little shorty um, Yoshi on them sounds cool or an Acra or whatever's coming through. Probably not as good as a KLR 650. Nah, but look, everything. Nah. <laughs> Where would you put it? Right here, all the bits laid out, Jano. Yeah. Jeez. In a fairing piece. Oh! Put that on the bloopers. <laughs> Try again. <laughs> I just want to head up here and I went back. Don't climb on that. Oh, that oh, well. Here we got it. The finished product. GDR 1400, well, I think in the US it's called the Concourse. Uh, apparently, this is the last year they'll be bringing them into Australia. Not sure about it yet, all the other countries, but the last the last time in Australia. What a bike! Uh, it's had a really good run. It's a really awesome bike. Uh, the beauty about it, it's got your keyless hold. The only downside that we found with the GDR was it didn't have cruise control. Uh, but probably the replacement in this will be the Versus 1000. Uh, that's probably going to take over from the GTR, I would say, and then you go up into your H2SX, which is an awesome bike. So, this is it. Heaps of features. I'm not doing a full review on it. You've seen it get unboxed. You've seen where it comes to from here. Um, and this is it. We bought the last seven in the country. If you want one, probably do one in Australia for around the 23, 22, 23 mark, depending on where you're at. We can send them everywhere all over the country. So, give us a buzz up here at Roochigal. Check this out and uh, we'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Oh, and subscribe. Make sure you subscribe. That's why we do it. Subscribe, share, tell your mates. Even if you don't like it, say, have a look at this clown up here. He does this all the time. Uh, but here we are, GDR 1400 Concourse. Have fun. See you next time.